Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna watch more Arian and this is the castle hall. So far I've watched only one performance by Arian and it was the Valley of the Queens that was highly recommended. If you're interested in checking it out, open it in another tab or something. I'll leave the link up there. It was such a beautiful song, not gonna spoil too much if you haven't watched the reaction, but there was this flute player uh, slash multi-instrumentalist really, I think. I have no idea how to say it, but Yeroen Gossens, he was playing low whistle on that one, if I remember right. And that was, that was gorgeous. Anyways, because this was recommended to me, I assume there is some kind of flute at least in this one so I'm quite excited to see and listen to this one because I know Arian has quite flexible style in general I think so while the previous thing that I listened was really calm and beautiful and all that um, I'm interested in hearing how this one will sound so if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Helen. I'm a classically trained flute player. I'm currently on a journey checking out how flute is used in other genres of music. And so far I've been enjoying this journey. If you're interested in checking out some of my flute playing, feel free to check out my official artist channel. And I will also leave the link on the description box below, but also somewhere up there. Okay, let's let's start listening. I'm I'm excited. Ah. At last, we enter the electric castle. Here in this vast hall, where even shadows fear the light. Here, you must confront your past. If you have killed, beware the gathering of spirits, for they do fish for men. For here, the disembodied astral world becomes flesh once more. <laughs> <laughs> I pity the men of swords, for here, blood runs. Cold. Okay. Interesting start. Sound in my ears. Hail from the young man, darkest fears. Faces of the past are wrenched in my brain. The women I've raped, the men I've slain. Shades of the past. Sliding on the wall, demons dancing the castle. I call upon the sword, the mighty Scalabar. Grant me the skill to fulfill my quest. I call upon my king, the knights of the triple round. Stand to this test. I call upon the seer, Merlin the sorcerer. Grant me the magic to end my pain. Call upon the spirit that lives in the noble heart. Grant me the passion that's within my veins. Shades of the dead are striding on the walls. Demons dance in the castle.
<laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop. I listened to so long without actually stopping. I was just about to stop and give a few comments before the fluid just started. As you probably noticed, I was like, oh, wait, nope. <laughs> um, oh. Yeah, this is so different from from the Valley of the Queens. And I love the kind of completely different vibe in it. So yeah, if I remember right, Arjen Lukasen, the guitarist you saw come on the stage, he is the man behind the Aryan, and it's kind of cool. I don't think I saw him on the Valley of the Queens. And could be he's not in every piece of music. So yes, there is actually a classical, like a Western concert flute um, on this one. And that's, that's really cool. And there was also the violin. Yeah, I really like the sound of it. Oh man, let's continue. Okay, okay, okay. I, ah, I'm getting chills. <laughs> Hi, fun girling, fan girling here a bit. Um, whoa, that was a great experience. Like there was nothing very special going on in the flute solos, you know. But it was really nice to see a flute in this kind of setting, and I absolutely loved it. And I started thinking it must be really hard to hear yourself play in this kind of, like, loud, loud setting. And that is something that must be really tricky, because when you can't hear yourself, you don't know if you're really in tune. Like, you might hear you are not in tune, but you are not able to really... <laughs> hear which way it is. Quite recently I've been starting to think it must be really hard to play as a flute player in this kind of setting because flute is relatively quiet compared to all of these other instruments like drums and electric guitars and stuff like that. Obviously there was some kind of like a microphone and a in-ear monitor thing I think but if you can't hear yourself through the in ear monitor or whatever you you are using 
it, it must be really hard to <laughs> actually hear what you are playing. And that is kind of tricky. You might overblow and the tuning goes bad. But that was really good playing. So I, I don't think there was anything like that. Just wondering if, like, if that's an issue and how is it solved. But I've been playing in a... Um, band kind of thing where drums were really close to me and the guitar amp was really close to me and I couldn't really hear myself because we didn't really have monitoring system. It was kind of acoustic setting but not really. There was a lot of acoustic instruments like violins, uh, saxophone, French horn, flute, clarinet, but there was also drums, electric bass, electric guitar. So then it was quite hard for me to hear myself play. But I mean, there, there, there must be some way to hear yourself because he was playing like really well and it wasn't out of tune. The thing that happens, you kind of start playing louder and when you play louder, you overblow a bit and the tuning rises. So you are a bit sharp. That was great. That was, oh man, I loved it. And I love the visual kind of show. I'm, I'm not the person who enjoys going to live gigs like this. I'm, I'm not that kind of person, but I love watching these as videos from my home. And I'm glad this is, <laughs> this is, these are made, these videos from these live gigs. And they are really, really good. So yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you didn't know, I have a Patreon site for this reaction channel separately, so I can take the time and make these videos. You might know most of these videos are demonetized uh, because of the copyrighted content and the Patreon will help me kind of cover the costs of these videos. So if you're interested in like supporting the channel, go check it out. I leave the link on the description and I leave it there and I will leave it at the end card here also. Currently my patrons are able to suggest new reaction content so that is definitely worth checking out. There will be also occasional votes on what to release next. I hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you on my next one. Bye bye.